Within Borneo's rainforest lives a colony of mysterious little creatures simply waiting to be uncovered and discovered. It is here, in this hollow space and wildest underground passages, that these unique yet rather eerie nocturnal creatures call it home. Meet the bats. Bats are peculiar but fascinating animals. They are one of the most diverse groups of mammals on Earth, and because bats are unique, they are classified in their own special order of mammals called Chiroptera, which literally means hand wing in Greek. Bats are also the only mammals that are capable of true and sustained flight. They are remarkably agile, flying faster than most birds. This cave is inhabited by a wide range of bat species, from fruit and nectar eating to insect eating varieties. In the cave's darkness, bats hang from the roof of the cavern. Their presence is evident from the thick guano molds or bat droppings that pile high up on the cave floor. Crawling around are countless specialized microbes, cockroaches, worms, and a lot of other cave critters. Since bat guano is regarded as an external energy source, bats may play a vital role in the preservation of particular cave ecosystems by bringing it to energy and light-starved caves. Apart from other animal carcasses, it also contributes to the food chain by feeding insects, which bats themselves feed on. Bats are exceptionally adaptable, night-loving creatures. They typically live by hanging upside down and dwelling in caves where there is access to water, an abundance of food, and shelter from the weather and other predators. The sound of chattering bats becomes more audible as you venture deeper inside the cave. 
the squeaking and screeching of millions of bats can be heard as they take cover in every crack and crevice some 250 feet above. When they are not flying, bats rest by hanging upside down by their feet as it's the most comfortable position for them to be in. Although bats have been thought of as something ghastly and grotesque for ages, they are not as scary as they seem. The craze horseshoe bat, one of the many species of bats living here, feeds on insects and distinguishes itself from the fruit and nectar-eating bats by its tiny eyes, larger ears, and a unique leaf-shaped nose. To locate prey and keep itself oriented while flying, this bat uses echolocation by emitting ultrasonic sound waves with its larynx and emitting the sound through its nose or mouth. Since bats are the only flying mammals, their wings are basically an adaptation of the forelimbs through evolution. It resembles a human arm and hand with the exception of a thin membrane of skin that extends between each finger bone and between the hand and the body. The thumb extends out of the wing as a small claw which bats use for climbing. Most bats sleep through the day, emerging only at dusk for hunting. Due to the risk of predation, bats very rarely forage in the daytime, but here we see the cave roosting myotis bat scavenging in broad daylight. It's interesting to note that the behavior of this myota species appears to be confined here. The benefit of foraging during the day, however, is that it can avoid competing with other species that hunt in the same area at night. As the sun moves over the horizon and day slowly turns into night, the waiting game begins. A clear sky is a promising sign, as rain could make our wait futile. Soon, an intense hum can be heard.
swarms of bats take flight, leaving their roost to hunt in the forest surrounding the cave. Millions of these lean and dark-colored aerial animals form a seething black mass of shadow, flicking their soft, leathery wings upwards and backwards as they search for food. Bats typically emerge from their caves before complete darkness since nighttime feeding shields them from the sun, hot temperatures, and especially predators. It is risky and challenging for the bats to exit their hideout at dusk. As the bats emerge from their chamber, predators are on high alert, one of them being the oriental pied hornbill. The flying mammals frequently stream out and create a big ring-shaped pattern around the cave mouth as a defensive tactic before circling higher and higher up the cliff face and spreading out into the forest in spiraling ribbons. They are hunters, and the hunted.